Okay. So we will see how, you know, you've been talking about uh, graphs in the abstract. Abstract. And uh, let's see how we will actually map some real world problems to a graph and solve it using uh, graph algorithms. Now I'm going to give you an esoteric problem but we will not find solutions for you because it's beyond the scope of this course, but you will learn it again in the algorithms course. But here is something which most of you would have seen. Let's say I want to design a traffic signal for the intersection shown in the figure. shown in the figure. You know, this is a very interesting figure. In fact, uh, let's see this. Mm. It's a star like introduction mm, intersection. There's an example which I have taken from Hook, Hopcroft and Bulgman. Mm. One moment. Let's say we have a star type of an intersection. This is taken from Ahu, Hopcroft, and Woolman. Um, data structures and algorithms. And uh, let us say is a two-way street. I've just adapted it to the, um, the algorithm, the uh, intersection, for example, is given here based on the American uh, right of way being right side, but I'm going to try and adapt it to left of way being the right of way in India. And this is very common in Bangalore. I always, whenever I drive in Bangalore, have a nightmare. Bangalore, where you actually have, I think, even six lanes which intersect and then uh, it takes some time getting used to which signal is the most correct. So let's say we want to design a traffic signal. So what is it that we need to know? Which are the paths that cannot be permitted simultaneously. Okay. I must tell you, this is actually an NP complete co problem to do minimum number of colors. This is actually can be reduced to what is called a graph coloring problem. Um, and I must tell you, what you're going to do is, what are the minimum number of colors that are required to color this graph? That's what we're going to look at. And let's see how we convert it. The, the scope is beyond this course. But this gives you a nice uh, idea as to why, you know, um, this is important. So what do we need to know? We need to ensure that two paths that intersect intersect should not have the same color, should not have green at the same time, same color, okay. Of course, you know, if you look at, uh, interestingly, in many of these uh, intersections that we have, uh, whether at Tidal Park or um, TTK Salai, what they do is they allow only one direction. Is you'll allow only this guy to happen or this guy to happen and so on. But Chennai is on, generally has only uh, two-way intersections an interesting intersection. So how do we work on this problem? 
for example, if I take AC and uh, BD or DB, clearly this cannot happen simultaneously. Or even AC and uh, AC and B, AC and BA because we're in the left side of the road, going to the left side here, and AC is going like this. So again, this will intersect you, so you cannot permit it. So what we do is we make the paths. vertices in a graph. Okay. So what are all the paths that we have? Let's start from A is bidirectional, B is bidirectional, C is unidirectional, D is bidirectional and E is unidirectional. Okay. So look at, let's look at what are all the paths that are possible. AB uh, is a path. AC is a path, AD is a path, okay. BA is possible because bidirectional, then uh, BC is possible, BD is possible, B is not possible. Similarly, we have DA, DB, and uh, DC, DA, DB, DA, DB, DC are possible. D is not possible. But interestingly, EA, ED, EC, ED are all possible. Now what we do is um, we connect in this graph, we're going to connect these vertices by edges if two paths cannot happen simultaneously. Okay, so what we do is, let's see, let me just draw this. I think I've done this quite correctly. So we have AC, BA, and cannot happen simultaneously. AC, DB, AC, oh yeah, DB cannot happen simultaneously. AC, BD cannot happen simultaneously. And AC and EB also cannot happen simultaneously. Okay. Then what we do is, um, can you please verify this graph, I think. B A and D B D A B A left to right and D B cannot happen simultaneously and uh, B C is a left turn so you don't have to worry about it B D and B C B D and D C cannot happen you intersect. So join it with this, BDDC, similarly BDEC and uh, then, yeah, I think we have completed. Now DA, DA and ED, is this correct? Uh, DA again, going from, um, DA is this, and ED is going from the left of this to the left of this. So it again intersects DA, ED, and uh, DA, EC, then uh, DA, EB cannot happen together, and uh, DB, EB. Good. D, B, E, B comes like this. 
DV and EB. It's okay, I suppose. It can happen, but it's dangerous. Mm. DAAC, yeah. DB, EB is okay. And what else do we have? Three, DC and ED. It is DC now. DC is again uh, left to left over here. And ED, not possible. So yeah, you can um, mark all the edges. Maybe I've missed some of them. Then we perform what is called coloring. Okay. So what do we do? We start coloring by, let's say I take AC blue, then AD, DA, DC can all be blue. This is a greedy way of doing it. It's a much better, we call it greedy because we just look at local solutions. It's not the best solution, but you can easily find a solution. So what are we doing here? We're ensuring that no two adjacent vertices have the same color. Okay. And you, once all the vertices have been colored, you're done. A colored Done. Okay. But I'm not going to take this any further because coloring an arbitrary graph with few colors is an NP complete problem. And beyond the scope of this course. Okay. NP complete means non deterministic. Polynomial basically, it means that the uh, solution cannot be guessed or cannot be guessed. Oh, sorry, solution. <laughs> mm. Anyway, I think I'll leave it at this. Um, non deterministic polynomial uh, time. Sorry. Basically, it means that solution can be guessed, guessed sorry, and verified. in polynomial time, but non-deterministic means no specific rule for making a guess. For making yes, we learn this in the algorithms course, and
if a problem is empty and all other np problems are polynomial time reducible to it problem is np complete this is very a uh, big way of saying it is np complete okay um no specific rule yeah okay so i stop here